Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's girls time here on Girl Guidelines and for today's video I'm going to be doing something completely different. So um, I'm just going to start right off the bat. I have eczema. Um, I've had it since I was a little girl and I can honestly say that this year was the roughest year for me, the roughest winter for my skin. I have spent so much time and so much money trying to find products to help calm it down a little bit and the reason for this video is I saw a post on Instagram which I'm going to share with you guys that was completely insensitive and super rude. I'm just going to read the post to you guys and then I'm just going to jump into the rest of the video. So if you are from Jersey, then you know the weather has been getting super duper nice. And somebody thought it would be funny to post this. Y'all hear 70 degree weather and can't wait to show off your eczema and bed bug bites. I cannot speak for people who have bed bug bites. I've fortunately never had that. Um, but for those of us that have eczema, your post was rude. Flat out rude. Um, eczema is not something that you catch, it's something that you're born with or you know your body changes every seven years so something that you may develop and it is completely out of our control. And unfortunately you can like smooth out a, a breakout but sometimes it'll leave discoloration, you might have lighter spots, you might have darker spots and I just thought it was all around rude because even before I saw that post, like the weather was getting nice and I was stressing like I'm not going to get to wear sundresses and shorts and tank tops and all these things and then I thought about it and I'm like why do I need to cover up a part of me to please somebody else? So this video is not just me ranting on about being upset but I just want to share a couple products that have been helping me out with my eczema and share them with anybody who is going through what I'm going through. So let's dive right in. Um, the first thing I'm going to talk about, which I'm probably going to pronounce wrong, is the Hibi Cleanse. And it is literally just like a cleanser, um, like an antiseptic. And um, well, I'll normally use that with a cotton round and just wipe it, rub it into the affected area, maybe in the shower, maybe right before I get in the shower. Now when I'm in the shower, I have to use my Dove Sensitive Skin um, Bar of Soap. This does come in a body wash formula. Unfortunately, I've noticed that for me, the body wash irritates my skin where the, the bar of soap suits my skin. When I come out the shower, I choose to moisturize with my Eucerin Eczema Relief. And as you can see, I have been using it a lot. Um, there are other lotions, but this one is the best one for my skin. It's greasy enough to moisturize my eczema, but not too greasy to make me feel like I want to scratch it off. For when I have that itch and I'm trying not to scratch, I use the Neosporin Eczema Essentials Anti-Itch Cream. And it's still in the box because I just finished one. And, um, but this is what the product looks like outside the box. Um, this I keep in my bag it's, and when I feel like I need to itch I just take it out and I rub it in and I give it a few minutes and literally the itch is gone. The next thing I'm going to share with you guys is the Aveeno Eczema Therapy Hand Cream and this I keep in my bag because I do work with children so I'm constantly washing my hands and if you have eczema you know that you need to stay moisturized. So washing my hands is doing the opposite but having that in my bag Literally, I, the formula of that is nice and thick, and my hands literally stay moisturized until the next time I go wash my hands, believe it or not. Um, the next thing is just my lip balm that I use, and that is the Carmex Classic Lip Balm. I know that it sounds crazy, but it does matter. Uh, I have eczema on my cupid's bow, and sometimes when it breaks out there, it can irritate like around my lips. And I found that in the past, the Blistex, um, the blue one, anyone actually, I don't know what ingredient is in there, but it just doesn't mesh well with me. And the Carmex, other than, you know, keeping my lips not chapped, um, it works very well with the eczema that's in my Cupid's bow. And I don't ever have to worry 
about when I have a breakout or irritation from maybe blowing my nose too much or rubbing my hands over here, that by using that it's going to worsen. It doesn't do that for me. And last, but certainly not least, is not really a product, but something I suggest you drink more of, and that is just plain old water. I know that that's like, you might think like, why, what does it matter? But it does, because for me, sometimes if I have too much coffee, or, you know, if I drink alcohol, I notice that like the next day, I get super duper itchy and I don't know if it's maybe the effect of the alcohol or the coffee or the coffee and the effect that it has on my nerves but I've noticed that when I drink that or if I drink it excessively that I really feel super itchy the next day um, but that's about it those are the things that I use and I really feel that there have been they have been helping me out with my skin um, and I just wanted to share with anybody that has eczema and that feels the way I feel sometimes. Seeing the post definitely motivated me to do this video, not only for myself, but for anybody, like I said, that is going through what I'm going through. So, that's that. Um, please give my video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave some comments down below. Are you using these products? Do you have some other products that I can use that will be beneficial? And of course, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. Thank you so much for watching. Apologies for the beginning rant, but it is what it is. Until next time, guys. Bye.